Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our ninth Inkscape tutorial. If you haven't viewed our previous tutorials, then you can see them at www.learndigitaldesign.com. And if you're already a seasoned pro with Inkscape and you want to move along to some of the more advanced lessons, then feel free to do so. Today we're pretty much going to start off exactly where we left off in the last lesson. Uh, we were talking about linear gradients before, and if you haven't seen that lesson already, you need to go back and view it, or you're going to be lost about what we're talking about here. But uh, I've already got a nice square object here on the uh, screen, and I'm going to go ahead and go down and select our gradient editor. I'm going to come up and select this object, and you know I can start where we were before. We had a linear gradient before, and now if we want to have different type of gradient, we can have a radial gradient. You can see here that there are two options, and uh, you can apply these options to either the fill or the stroke, and the fill and stroke work exactly the same way, so I'm not going to make a separate tutorial just for stroke. Uh, let's click here on the radial, and then we would just reach down and apply that to the object, and you can see here that we have a uh, gradient that's shaped more like a circle, and it radiates out from the center. Just like the linear gradient, we can go up here to edit, and we can choose the different stops. We can add more than one stop, just as we can with a linear gradient. Just as we did before, just as easy, we can adjust the uh, center portion, or that we can adjust the stops. You know, here on the uh, object itself, that looks like an eclipse or something. But basically, there's really nothing special or new you need to know about the radial gradient. It works exactly the same way as the linear gradient. So uh, we've got a little bit of time left over in this tutorial, so we're going to go ahead and move on to another subject, uh, and I'm going to we're going to talk about one that we can cover fairly quickly. Uh, let's create a few objects here so we can have some perspective on what we're going to do. Let's look at the zoom tool for a minute. It's pretty straightforward. We can zoom in or out with it, and we have these options up here for in or out. But something you may find particularly useful that you uh, might not have noticed on your own is that there are different uh, zoom ratios that you can choose up here. One to one, one to two, two to one. If you're creating a website, there may be times, and there not just may be, there certainly will be times when you're going to need things exact to the pixel. And when you're looking at some of your objects and some of your illustrations you're going to want to know that they are exact and you're going to see them you're going to want to see them as they're going to appear so you're not going to want to be zoomed way out or way in necessarily you might want to just go to a one to one ratio here and this is exactly one to one if we import a uh, bitmap image or something like that that is pixelated then it's going to be it's going to look exactly the way it's going to look on your screen here at a one to one ratio and of course we have the 1 to 2 and the 2 to 1. 2 to 1 is zoomed in farther. 1 to 2 is uh, zoomed in, zoomed out double from 1 to 1. And there's a few more options we have here. Um, let's get this, let's get a selection here. All these objects are selected. Let's go to the zoom tool and let's say we just want to zoom in on these objects here. Better yet, let's create an object out here and let's just select let's just select these objects here so this object is not selected now we're going to want to zoom in on just these objects not this one so we're going to go to zoom to fit selection in window and now we've just got these objects here that we selected fit into our window now let's say we want to fit the entire drawing into our window including 
that uh, box that we drew over to the right, here we have zoom to fit drawing in window. And that's going to fit all of these into the window. Um, I don't have my uh, Inkscape set up right now to show the page itself, but let me let me get that set up. Let's show page border. Show border shadow. We'll cover this more later in a further tutorial, but uh, let's just view just the page. And here's our page that we're going to be working on. Uh, we'll talk about pages later. And we can view just the width of the page here. It's going to disregard the height. It's just going to zoom to the width. And uh, here we can choose the previous zoom. We can go back and forth in zooms, uh, just like we use a back button in a browser or a forward button in a browser. Okay, and that's all we're going to cover in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.